Let's take a look at the basics of selection and movement in Age of Empires 4 while playing with an Xbox controller. Now to build a thriving town, we need to train more villagers. So let's start there. First, I'm going to want to select my town center. I can move my camera by using the left stick to move my center reticule over anything I'd like to select, and then tap A to select it. Now we have the town center selected, we can see our rally point is coming way off to the south. Let's fix that because I think I want my new villagers to gather sheep. I'm going to move my camera to the sheep and tap A once again to update my rally point. With any unit or building selected, you can also open its radial menu. This contains all of the options available at that unit or building. If I hold right trigger, I can see the radial menu for the town center. And from here, I can see all of my options, including training a villager. I can hold left stick up to select the villager and then tap A for each villager that I'd like to train. Let's train three. One, two, three. I can now press B to back out of the radial menu and I'll still have the town center selected. Now, if I look down to the bottom left, you can see that there are quick options available too, including training villagers. So you can do that without having to open the radial. The most common options for each building and unit are highlighted in the quick options panel. From here, we can tap Y to add more villagers to the queue and once again to add a fourth villager here. We can also tap X to research textiles, which is a very common defensive upgrade for villagers. Now I'm pretty sure I sent some villagers to the north to gather some berries. Let's see how they're doing and well, in typical villager fashion, they're standing around not doing much work. So let's fix that. First, we can select our villager at the top by tapping A and telling it to gather the berries by tapping A once again. I'll press B to deselect. And now the two villagers in the south, well, they're kind of standing quite close together. So instead of selecting them both individually, I'm going to press and hold A to open a marquee. Everything inside of the marquee will be selected when I let go, like so. And now I can tell these villagers to gather the deer by hovering and pressing A once again. It's that simple. Now I'm pretty sure I sent a scout out in the south and let's see what they're up to. Oh yes, what a vantage point. I can see the enemy patrol of archers from here. Now I have some units positioned conveniently nearby. I'm going to select them all by holding A and opening a marquee. I can then move them by pressing A anywhere on the ground. Now, to attack the enemy, I can simply move over to the enemy and tap A once again. Or, I can press X to attack move, which you can see highlighted in the quick selection in the bottom left. By tapping X and attack moving, my units will move in the direction that I've set and attack anything along the way. Now, my knights and the camels should be no match for these archers. It should easily take care of them as they counter them pretty hard. And from here, we will have won this battle. However, my knights and my camels are pretty mixed up. What if I want to separate them? Well, I can hover over my camels and I can double tap A to select all units of a single type. I can now move my camels separately and separate them from the knights. I can double tap my knights and move them separately too. And from here, if I wanted to group them together again, I could use the marquee. I'll press and hold A to expand the marquee and you'll see that my knights are not quite in range. But if I keep A held down, I can use the marquee like a paintbrush and I can go grab those knights too. Releasing A now will select all of my units together and allow me to move them on for greater things. That's it for the basics of movement and selection. Be sure to stay tuned for more tips and tricks in future videos.